It's getting to be that time of the year again when it's really, really hot. Is there anything that can rescue us from that summer sun? Today we're going to look at a product called Arctic Air Freedom, and it's a neck fan that is supposed to cool and purify the air around us. Hmm, that sounds interesting. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at the Arctic Air Freedom neck fan to see if it's any good. Here's our Arctic Air Freedom. This looks very similar to a neck fan I reviewed not that long ago, but this is an As Seen on TV product. I did purchase this for around $30 from my local As Seen on TV retailer. Let's open this up, read through the directions, and test it out. Nothing else is in the box, so I have my directions, and then I have my Arctic Air Freedom. All right, so first look. It has a sort of flexible hinge here. This feels like it's made out of rubber, so if I bend it and open it, there you go. Um, it looks like I have some fan vents here, and that's what it was like on the neck fan I reviewed previously. And I've got the Arctic Air logo there. Let's see, there's my on-off on, on off button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read through the directions, charge this up, and I'm gonna test this out outside by the pool. The Arctic Air Freedom comes with a micro USB-C charger. I like that because a lot more things are using that instead of the micro USB. Now there is no power block, so I have this plugged into a USB charger to the right here. So you just plug this in. And now this thing is supposed to pulsate blue until it's charged. When it's done charging, it's gonna be a solid blue color. They do not give us time, like how long it takes or how long you can use it, so I'll test that out but right now we're charging. I'll bring you back when we're done. So I'm just sitting out here at the pool, enjoying the day, and as you can see by this tree behind me, it's pretty windy, and that sort of makes the Arctic Air Freedom pointless. Like, I can't feel the wind coming up. Now, if I put my hands here, I can feel it, but it doesn't do anything for my head because of the wind around. Now, I will say, I'm trying to have conversation either left or right, and because of these fans in my ears, it sounds like I have jet engines in my ear, and I can't hear anything, so that's pretty frustrating. So I'm gonna end up I'm gonna end, cannonball. I'm gonna end up turning this off and I'll try it on the inside when there's no wind and I can actually use it. I will say that the Arctic Air Freedom has an ionizer and what that ionizer does as the air comes through, it's supposed to purify the air. Now I'm not able to test that because I don't have the equipment, but I just wanted you to know how they say it purifies your air. I've been wearing the Arctic Air Freedom now for about an hour and I'm really impressed that it's still running. I wasn't sure because the direction didn't tell us how long it was gonna last, but it's still running on high speed over an hour now. All right, so what do I think? Well, I'm in a room right now, the temperature is 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 22 degrees Celsius, and so it's blowing room temperature air at me, maybe a little cooler because of the fans, but it's comfortable. Now it's funny, I have had people say, what is that, what are those things? Is that a sweet pair of earphones? Well, no, it's not earphones, it's actually a cooling fan. Like, man, that's loud. I go, I agree, it is kind of loud. Anyway, so when I have it tight around my neck like this, I'll try to pinch it together, um, I can feel the cooling right here by my chin or cheek right here, right below my ear. This is where I feel the cooling. Now, you can spread it open a little wider to have it maybe even on your shoulder, and that goes up to maybe the side of my head and that's about the extent of it. Like I said, the room I'm in right now is climate controlled. It's relatively comfortable. I will try it in a hot environment to see what kind of results I get there. I wanted to provide you with a quick update. So I've had this thing running for about, oh, that is really funny. So I was gonna do an update letting you know it was running for two hours. I was so excited. Well, it just shut off. So. That being said, you do get about two hours of runtime on this little fan on high speed. Now I'm gonna charge it up and continue using it. After three hours of charging, it's now time to unplug our Arctic Air Freedom and use it once again. I will say I did notice earlier that if you're running it and you think you can plug it in and use it, it shuts off immediately, just so you know. Okay, let's go continue the test. Typically, when I film inside the car, somebody else operates the camera for me just so I can drive safe. Well, they're off having fun right now, so I'm gonna do this by myself. I'm gonna sit parked in this parking lot for the next 30 minutes, the car is off, and I'm gonna bake 
here inside the car. Look at this. Current time, 8.28 in the morning. Exterior temperature is already 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but look at inside the car, 81 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is hot. If you use Celsius, 21 degrees Celsius outside and 27 degrees Celsius inside. All right, so if you know anything about cars and how fast they can heat up, it takes just a matter of 10, 12, 15, 20 minutes, right? Just a short period of time before they can get over 100 degrees. Now, it's a little cooler outside, but I'm still going to be safe. If it gets too hot, I'm going to open up this door. I just wanted you to know that starting off. All right, so what do I feel now? Right now, my ears feel cool. This is definitely blowing at my ears, my chin area, maybe a little bit of my cheeks. I am sweating on top here and I could probably feel some sweat or at least it's warm on my back and definitely on my legs. I'm going to keep you updated over the next 30 minutes to see how this goes. It's been about a little over 10 minutes since we started and look what's happened. Exterior temperature has gone up by 2 degrees, interior temperature has gone up by 4 degrees and it's really, really hot in here. So. My chin area, still cool. My ears, still cool. What I've been doing over the past 10 minutes just to stay cool is I take it off and I just hold this in front of my face like this. Now, this is not really helpful if you're gonna be using this while you're driving or want to use both hands. Um, it does keep me cool like this because I feel cooler air blowing at my face than the temperature inside um, of this car. That being said, the rest of my body is warm. I kind of wish maybe it had fans or vents going down to try to keep me cool this way, but I'll keep you posted as we go along. So I've made it to the 30 minute mark. And as you can see, it's 91 degrees Fahrenheit inside, which makes it 33 degrees Celsius and it is hot. You notice that I opened the door. I just did that a minute ago and I turned the fan off just because it was so hot. It was just blowing hot air at me and was really uncomfortable. Um, so if you're in a small space, I definitely wouldn't recommend just using this as you're cooling because you will get hot. That being said, if you're outside at a park and it's 90 some degrees um, and there's no wind, this might provide your cooling to your lower half of your head. And if you take it off like a fan, um, but there's probably some other products out there, I just wanted to give you that last update. In this video, we've been looking at the Arctic Air Freedom neck fan. What do I think? Did it cool? Yes. Is this something that I would use? Probably not. It was more cumbersome most of the time. And then the excessive charging just to get to use for two hours, I didn't really care for. Um, I like that it does have a good fan that comes through. And you know what? Because of the way the fan is, you're not supposed to get your hair stuck. That's nice. But for me, probably not. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. If you end up getting the Arctic Air Freedom and don't like it as a neck fan, you can always use it as a bubble blower. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Arctic Air Freedom. You know what? Every time I've said freedom, I wanted to yell it like Mel Gibson did in Braveheart and go, freedom! But I didn't. Um, I've actually reviewed other Arctic Air products, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a playlist of just Arctic Air products right here, and I would love it if you would click on this link. And by the magic of the internet, when you click right here, I'm going to join you at those reviews. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.